Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Matthew Weaver Jr. Hey guys, Victoria Baxton here. Thanks for stopping back by my YouTube channel. Hey guys, I hope everybody's good. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's free. This is for entertainment purposes only. If you're a fake psychic, get off YouTube. If you're a real psychic, you are so welcome to be here and I would love to talk to you. Please leave a comment for me down below and let me know. Um, I hate to say that, y'all. Y'all know I hate to say that. Okay, so we're going to talk about Matthew Weaver Jr. Matthew Jonathan Weaver Jr. was a 21-year-old resident of Simi Valley, California. He was last seen on video surveillance at approximately 7.15 a.m. on August the 10th, 2018. He was driving on the Topanga Tower motorway headed towards Rosa's out Overlook. Sorry, He's believed to have been active on social media around 7.28 a.m. and to have sent a text message sometime between 11.30 a.m. and 12 o'clock noon on August the 10th of 2018. His vehicle was located the following day on the Topanga Tower motorway near Rosa's Outlook above the Backbone Trail and Hondo Canyon areas. I hope I said that right. Matthew's described as five foot, 10 inches tall and weighs approximately 130 pounds with brown hair and brown eyes. If you have any information regarding his disappearance, please contact uh, Origin Investigations at 1-800-358-3530 or the LA Police Department at 877-LAPD-247. Okay, unfortunately in 2020, Matthew's dad, Matthew Sr., shot at officers in Silman after they responded to a report of a stolen car. Fortunately, no one was injured. Weaver's daughter, Colleen Weaver Farrell, told the local Malibu that her father's mental health had been deteriorating ever since her brother's disappearance. Okay, so I attempted to connect with Matthew. I was not able to connect with him. Um, I'm not sure why that happens sometimes for me. It happens a lot in cases with children, but a lot of times with adults as well. But I will tell you that I did have a dream. Um, and unfortunately, I was able to connect the dream that I was having to Matthew Jr., Matthew Weaver Jr., um, I saw him falling from like a high hill. So I don't believe, I don't believe that there was like anything bad attached to it. Like I don't believe anyone killed him. I don't believe there was anything like that. I feel like he lost his balance and he fell to his death. And I believe that his body will eventually be found. Um, I, I, I mean... I think if, if God forbid I were in the situation, I think I would feel so much better to hear that he slipped and fell and it was an accident as opposed to someone, him, you know? Um, but it doesn't make it any easier when you're a parent. It doesn't matter what the outcome is. It still sucks. Um, I know this was a short one, but someone had asked me to do it and I wanted to make sure that I did um, and that I followed through. Yeah, it just, it sucks, y'all. It, it sucks to lose anybody, especially, you know, when it's because of an unfortunate accident. You know what I mean? So, uh, be nice, be kind, stay safe, stay healthy. Y'all look out for one another. There's a lot of crap going on in this world. A lot of stuff going on in our household right now with things we have no control over, which... If you join me at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time Friday Night Live on this Friday night on my channel, we'll talk about what's going on. So I hope you guys have an amazing week. Bye, guys.